Hello and welcome back to my FM Live. Today I will give you various tips and tricks on how to set up your scouting network, increase your knowledge and the likelihood of you snapping up hidden talent from all over the world. So what makes a good scout? Judging player potential, ability are both pretty self-explanatory, but what most people don't look at is adaptability. Adaptability will increase your scout's effectiveness when scouting abroad, therefore making it a lot quicker uh, to scout newer countries for those hidden gems. So up on screen now I've got Stuart Harvey and he looks pretty decent for, for Blackburn uh, at 17 judging player potential and 15 ability and adaptability at 17. He's only got knowledge at the moment, full knowledge in Northern Ireland and he's got about halfway through uh, for England. So at a young age, he's only 38, his adaptability is pretty good at 17. I can send him abroad and I won't have any problems. He'll probably get his knowledge up pretty quick. So I've used Blackburn as an example and as you can see all their scouts are from the UK and they only possess knowledge of that region. Um, this will limit when searching for players. Uh, I don't want to offend the majority of my viewers but let's face it, there's better players out there. Um, well, well, well shit, there's not too many talented half Australian half Maltese players kicking about is there? Okay, when we have a look at Blackburn scouting knowledge at the moment, it's at about 18% and with a play count of about 10,000 players. Now, there's a few ways to increase this uh, through affiliated clubs, scouting staff, uh, coaching staff, and general scouting. So Blackburn off the bats have three affiliated clubs, uh, two in England and for some stupid reason, one in India. Through those clubs, we gain knowledge not just from the club itself, uh, but from the staff working at the club. So we take Fleetwood Town as the example, and um, they're giving us 100% knowledge in Germany, Iceland, and Norway. So if we click on, so for the director of football and manager, um, the director of football is from Iceland and the manager's from Germany. So that's uh, essentially where we're getting our knowledge from. So when searching for affiliated club, your best bet is to link up with a club from a different country. Um, you normally get about three choices. So to increase the odds of in increasing your knowledge or your network, uh, pick the team with the coaches from different countries uh, if you only get uh, teams within your own nation. Um, so what we want to do is to look for affiliates. Um, I've already tried, they've actually rejected me. And then you just want to click on this one here. So we should launch a search for an affiliated club uh, to improve our scouting network. Uh, this prick has, um, he's rejected me. Uh, we urge you to reconsider. No. Okay, so when you're searching for scouts or staff in general, always have a look at their nation of birth. Um, also their second nationality as well. Um, just changes in the staff view. So what we'll do, just click on this line here, go insert column, it's in general, and then you've got nationality and also second nationality. So we'll just click on those two so you can actually see where you're getting these guys from. Okay, if we look here, we've got uh, Turkish, we've got Serbian, um, there's Moroccan, I think that is, German and Italian. So that, that gives you a bit more of a mix. Um, obviously, a lot of good players from Germany, a lot of good players from Italy. Turkey as well, it's got very good players. Serbia has got some decent younger talent. Um, so if they have got a second nationality and there's two good nationalities, it's always good to have them in. Uh, if you have a look at this guy here, Moroccan and Germany is full, but then you've got a lot of uh, African nations and also China there. Um, so we can get this guy as a director of football, that, that'll, be, that'll be awesome, uh, but it's not always the case. But if you do this, you can kind of narrow it down. So if you're between two guys, so an English guy and a German guy, and they've both got the attributes about the same, go for the German guy or go for the guy that uh, you haven't got that already, that scouting knowledge within that country. So with your general scouting assignments, always try to um, have your scouts just searching by region. So for Blackburn here, we've only got, we can only search within Europe itself. So what I will do is I've got five scouts. I would have one search Central Europe, one Eastern Europe, one Scandinavia, one Southern Europe, and also you always pretty much do the UK and Ireland. Also, when you've done that, just go over to duration and just go ongoing. Um, just have it always going through. If you do make it to the uh, English Premier League, maybe you want to change it up and send, send some of those scouts over to, uh, say, Brazil, uh, America, maybe China, uh, maybe even Australia. Okay, now that that's all said and done, what I want to do is just try to use some of the tips and tricks that I've uh, given to you guys and come back and show you exactly what uh, I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to increase my um, world knowledge and in turn, that's going to increase the, the players that I can find. All right, so just getting in new staff members uh, throughout the team, the scouting staff and also, also the coaching staff, uh, I've increased the world knowledge to 29% from 18 and the, the player count, so the players found is now pretty much doubled up to 19,000. 
So it's only the 5th of July and the game starts on the 1st of July. So we're only five days in uh, for game time. And I've already increased um, you know, my plays that I can find um, by double. So as you can imagine, this will give you a massive benefit when looking and scouting for players Especially when you're in, you know, that championship level, level the league one, um, where you can find some hidden gems, you know, from those Serbias, uh, from, you know, Germany, Scandinavia, there's some great players out there, uh, which you probably don't know off the top of your head. Um, so that's why you need your scouts. That's why you need to send them out. That's why you need to follow all these tips. All right, guys, I'll leave it there, and I hope this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Um, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, as always, please subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.